Cooper's right. Stadium or the parade tonight between these two sides. And you're with Paul Bonzer on Sandful now. And we've got the debutant, Sammy Dunn, up against Harry Boyd. I reckon Dunn got the first tap down, so he'll be happy to get a good start. Streaming out of the middle, Kennelly puts it up to Ford. Jackson Callow got a hand on it. Ball falls to the deck. Handball shot out to Sammy Morris. Got the handball back. Boyle from 45 metres into the goal square. It's all the bays there. It falls to the front. Cootie is there for Norwood and a tackle laid, and there will be a ball up at the point of the square. Perfect start to the legs straight out of the centre. Deep in attack now there is Dunn coming through Lyons. Quick hands found Gerloff. Clears for Glenelg. Allen had to go back, put his body on the line. Kennelly, another nice pick up. Ball jarred loose in the tackle. Centering ball, nor a chance here. Player by themselves and shrugging the tackle was heard. Now back to Creswell, takes a flying shot. But our first score of the night, it's a minor, just faded late. A shot from Creswell, Nord one behind. Glenel get to score. Good quick start, Tim. And Nord will work the way out of defence. As Martini drive the ball to the outer wing. Umpire sent a free kick here, going the way of Glenel. little shove. Luke Reynolds gets the free kick on the outer wing. How good are these new lights here at Norwood, by the yeah, way? Fantastic. I know they're installed last year, but they are magnificent. And another push in the back this way. At time it's going the other way. And Norwood take the free kick. Jack Hurd on the wing. Short to Panos. The King wants to play on quickly. Goes long inside 50. Callow will take a shot at this. Kitsky the spoil from behind. Trying to mop up. Sharon Berg, Martini, smothered by Callow, good stuff. And it goes over the line for a minor score. Norwood, two behinds, but they'll get to score. Doing all the attacking the legs, and, well, you love to see your big man in Callow doing those one percenters. Great smother there. Clearing kick, Darcy Bailey. Centering ball, this is where Glenelg is so dangerous. Allen in the corridor, kicks to an open forward line. There's Will Gould with the hands in the back. Umpire says, no, it's a mark. And Glenelg, they don't need much time to hurt your bonds. Gould saw it, picked that from a long way out and opened the space behind his Norwood defender and just, I, I guess, created the space, putting his hands out. But I don't reckon there was much of a push there. Good decision by the umpire in the end. And Gould will have his first shot in the Glenelg jumper. Yeah, just showed his experience there. And he's going to kick from no more than 20 metres out. Straight in front. One inside 50 for Glenelg. Certainly will result in a score. And that score is a goal to Will Gould. He's pumped. And look at the base players come from everywhere. Welcome back, Will Gould. He gets his first, the base first. They're one straight six, leading Norwood two behinds. And as is custom in all footy these days, you kick your first goal in any competition. They come running from everywhere. So it's Will Gould's uh, first goal in the Sandful. And, main, and the defender left as a defender. Yep. Played in Sydney as a defender. Yep. Um, might have played a little bit up forward in the VFL, but uh, he is back here and making a statement early in the first quarter. Yeah, looking dangerous. And we mentioned off the top, McBean out. Gould just straight in to take his place and... Even wearing the old number as well. Yeah, Liam might have to work his way back through the twos. <laughs> I said they would with ingest, obviously. I'll let you tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the middle of Cooper Stadium. Boyd got the handball to Cootie. Inside 50, Panos back with the flight. Kitsky, first one there to meet it. Callow's right with him, wraps him up. Strong tackle, umpire says, give it to me. And we'll ball it up, about 55 out from Norwood's goal. They're two points. Glenelg six points. Early days in the first quarter here. Friday night footy on Sample now. Kick from Creswell into the forward line. Comes off hands and goes out of bounds. Thought he played well in the uh, state game last weekend, Jackson Callow. Yeah. Might not have shown on the stat sheet as much, but geez, effort was there. Actually, uh, 12 players from Glenelg and Norwood combined played. They had half the team. They kicked all the goals. 
Tells you the quality of the players in these teams. And we beat the Dirty Rotten Vicks. Of course we did. <laughs> was, there, was there ever going to be any other result? Allen's clearing kick only as far as Creswell just through his hands. Buttering up nicely was Lord off the side of the boot. And we'll have a boundary throw in. About 30 metres around from the Norwood goal. Creswell's been being busy early, Tim. Yeah, has been. Just setting up behind the footy at sort of half forward. He's repelled a couple of Glenelg attacks. Jackson Callow front position. Big Dunn does well. Got the quick hands to Lyons. Shoved as he kicked. And coming back is that man, Creswell. So about 60 from goal. Ignored the skip. Uh, ignored Panos. Went inside 50 to the goal. Top of the goal square. This Big Dunn. A bit slow to get rid of it. Yep. And he might be pinged holding the ball. He is. Yeah. Poor. <laughs> Feel sorry for the big man there. I don't think he expected that to land in his hands. And, well, the legs are letting him know about it on debut, aren't they? They are. There's a bit of push and shove. Boys will be boys. <laughs> Harry Boyd's had his jumper ripped off of him. And just waiting to see who the free kick's going to here, Tim. It looks like it's Sammy Morris. Well, everyone will put their hand up for this free, won't they? 15 out, straight in front. <laughs> Well, Sam's only kicked four goals in his Sanford career. Play, played most of last year in defence yep. and was excellent on running off half back and out of the back pocket. Now let's see if he kicks it like a defender or a forward. We're right behind this one. Chance to get Nord's first goal. Morris looked like a forward, kicked it like a forward. So Morris gets his first. Nord, one goal, two. And Glenel, one goal. Important for the legs to get one back there. They've probably dominated play, at least in their half of the ground. And good to see them get some reward for effort. A little unlucky done there. Ball just popped into his hands. It was a good tackle. Not much he could do about it. And Morris finishing truly fifth goal in game number 42. And a good start here. Mitch, now nice the lights look. Surface looked nice up close as well. A little yes. bit choppy from the, the games last weekend, but does look a treat. So Riley Holder into the ruck now for the Bays. Bounce favours Boyd. He just hits that over his head. Cootie sends Norwood inside 50 yet again. Ball clean, bowled a few players. Proud. Got the clearing kick. Norwood set up pretty well behind the ball. There is Cootie again. Creswell, again busy. Allen, got to watch out, Matty Allen. Kennelly had him, but Allen just through sheer strength and the kick is just perfect. The Lions, and he's got Reynolds further afield. Glenelg wasting no time going forward. Good chop out. It's Harry Boyd, mate. The well, Harry Boyd, re it is. Recognize it is him. 44. He's, in the, he's in the Tommy Warhurst uh, 44. As the ball's on the way, Kennelly, the skipper. Great tackle laid there by McCarthy. Norwood still have possession. Creswell went short to Morris. Yeah, so if you're watching, big Harry Boyd in the 44 and his jumper ripped off of him. Kenley from 49 metres has a look at the goals and sends it home. Great captain's goal from Kenley. Norwood a 2 2. And Gladell just the one goal. How about that, Tim? What a finish, Jacob Kennelly. We know he's a quality player. That's why he skippers this team. And a beautiful goal on the run. And on the right foot. And Norwood. Well, they take a well-deserved lead. Early stages, of course. But really dominating the inside 50. Seven inside 50s to the legs already. Just two to Glenelg. Yeah, they've had most of the play, mm. as you said. And it's been in their half. I've seen one entry by Glenelg, which resulted in a goal. So Glenelg are running at 50% with their entries. So back in the centre, Holder, as he did so well last week, doing the work on the ground and in the air. Snook with the clearing kick this time. Ling got a bad bounce. Footy comes back to him, though. Ling goes wide. There is a player in Boyle. Cootie starting to work his way into the game. Had an outstanding debut for the legs last week. Proud effect at the spoil at half-back. Ball comes to Kennelly. The goal kick is spearing ball. Gee, that was a good kick. 
find Finn Hurd. And he might be within range here. Well, we'll probably kick from right on 50. Uh, most league footy players can kick the ball from 50, so he's a big lumping lag, the Herd brothers. They, uh, they're fine specim specimens, I should say. So, a long run up for the young man. He's going to kick from right on 50, strikes it beautifully, and just missing to the near side. Norwood continue to do all the attacking bonds. They're 2 3 15, nine point leaders over Glenelg, one straight six. Kitsky brings the ball back into play. Riley Holder got up high, so did Gould. And the crumbs, that ball out in front of Declan Hamilton, racing onto the footy and trying to find uh, Nelligan, who looks just looks a little bit different. In that number nine jumper, the ball's been handled out of bounds and uh, Murley was the player who got it to him. Short to belt, just the required distance. James Bell will kick it down this grandstand side. Big pack of players. Reynolds was there, again front and centre. Lord left it behind and stolen by Stag. Stag runs away, gets a shepherd from Gould. Closes in on 50. Kicks it inside 50 to the advantage of Hosey. He's taken the mark. Gee, that was a perfect kick, wasn't it? Good mark by Lockie Hosey, but Hugh Stagg, burst of pace, and that you could not have weighted that kick any more perfectly. Just a little fumble from Ben Simpson. Yep, that's all it takes. Allowed Stagg in, and Stagg does have pace, and he sprinted away, and he called it well. It's a perfect kick to Hosey. And he's lining up only about 25 metres out. Pretty much straight in front, trying to put Glenelg's second on the board. Does just that and gets his first. Blocky Hosey, he is a goal-kicking machine. And Glenelg, two goals, 12. They trail by three points. Norwood, two goals, three. He just kicks goals for fun, Lockie Hosey, doesn't he? Five in round one, four in the state game, five in the grand final. Just a wonderful player. And if you look at the uh, scrolling signage at the moment, Tim, do you know who supports community footy? Oh, it's a lovely segue, Bonds. It's Amy, of course. Great supporters of community footy in SA. Amy. At all levels as well. So back in the middle, we've got a good game on our hands. Three-point lead. Done. Back in the ruck. Found Snoke wrapped up immediately. First time we've called Matty Snoke. He'll sneak up on you, though. He's he probably will. had six. <laughs> Snoke, there he is again on cue. Wrestling with Hurd. So we'll do it again. Finn Hurd into the ruck against Dunn. Giving up inches. Dunn won that. Snoke, there he is again. Kick smothered. Tough footy in there. Dunn couldn't get any hand on it. Hamilton, good quick hands. Lord in trouble here. Wrapped up in a beautiful tackle by James Bell. Nord beaten at their own game. That's pretty ferocious tackle. Kick goes long. The big fly. And almost pulling in the mark was Gould. Colour later tackle. Lord did well to tightrope the boundary. Bell just fists that out of play. And it's a hot footy at the moment, Paul Bonzer. It's great footy. On Friday night here at Cooper Stadium. Almost 14 minutes gone in the first term. Wherever you're watching around the country, great to have you with us. Be a boundary thrown in front of some vocal Nord supporters. Done up against Finn Hurd. No one really got any great advantage from that throw in. Stags on the bottom of the pack. Umpire will ball it up on the point of the square. Finn Hurd got to the front, got the tap down. Just going uh, off the ground was Simpson. It's all Glenelg here, though. Proud kicks towards the broadcast side. Clash of bodies. Uh, Mitch O'Neill and Callow. I think O'Neill's come off worse yeah. for wear here. A bit slow to get up. I wouldn't have thought too many people come off best <laughs> in a collision with Jackson Callow. Right in front of the Sandful now commentary position, Tim Saul and Paul Bonzer with you. 
You got a front row seat to this boundary throw in. Boyd working his way to the front. Play on advantage. There's Creswell having a great first quarter. Kicks to a very open forward line using the body a little too well. It was 12th tree. Hands in the back. Play on. Chris Curran. Great to see him back in the black and gold. Chipping short to colour. Goes even shorter to Bailey. Glenelg switching play lot. They do so well. It's a dangerous one. There's Panos. Well, he's got a three on two up ahead. Decides to go to Creswell. He's got a player wide in low and he just kicks it over his head untidy from Creswell. Unfortunate he's had a good first quarter bonds, but he'd like that one back, I'm sure. He certainly would. I reckon Matty Panos might like that footy back mm. again because he was going to go and then just held up. And I reckon if he went straight away, he might have been away oh. and having a, a shot for goal inside 50. And Colours turned this ball over straight to Jack Hurd. Or is it Finn? I think it's Finn. So Finn will put it inside 50. Callow, two against one, comes off. Kitsky's hands, goes out of bounds. And we'll have a ball in about 15 metres around from Norwood's goal. They lead it by three points. Gone 16 minutes in the first term. Good crowd in here at Norwood. Perfect conditions. A little chilly. Winter's coming, Tim. We wouldn't, not... wouldn't have it any other way for Sanford <laughs> footy, though, would we? Sharon Berg got the ball out to Snook. And Snook just tried to clear the area. It's close to the boundary line. Gould helps it over and we'll have a throw-in on the outer side. So about 60 from the Norwood goal. And again, they've certainly had the better of this quarter. 12 inside 50s to 4. Boyd takes this one out of the ruck. Kick. He's hurried forward, bounces on its point, clean bowls Kitschke. And we'll have a boundary throw in, in a dangerous spot for this Glenelg defence. Just seen a couple of scrappy entries from Norwood. Mm. Hurried yep. kicks. Um, just need probably the forwards are on a bit better delivery than what they're getting at the moment. Because they've had their chances. They've been able to force some turnovers at half forward and just not quite capitalising. Callow doing the ruck. Lions. Oh, Kitschke. Oh. Almost got high play on, says the umpire. Now the clearing kick. Hosey try to use his feet. Nor would have numbers. There's Creswell again. Boyd back to Creswell. Jeez, he hooked that kick in beautifully around his body to find Bain and Lowe. Played on. Kick in short. Not, not far enough, said the umpire. O'Neill's got to swing around and hurry a kick in the end. And Well, Bonds, it was cleaner that time, but... Yeah, was, not quite right. It was also very good umpiring because yeah. it went about eight metres. Yep. So we'll have a throw in uh, in the forward pocket. We're about 20 metres around from Norwood's goal. They've done most of the attacking in this quarter. I think, uh, what are those inside 50s, Tim? Well, you, well, you've got a bit of a chance. I'll get you to look up those for us. Yeah, and plus 10 to Norwood. There you go. Panos got his hands on the Sharon. Mitch O'Neill broke a tackle. Snaps oh. a goal. Snaps truly. Mitch O'Neill. Outstanding finish, Mitch O'Neill. And that is his first goal in an Allwood Guernsey. Not a bad one either. Lovely snap from about 30 metres out from the stoppage. Norwood 3-3. Three, three. Well, now just the two goals. Starting to get a little bit on top here at the parade. Yeah, unfamiliar territory for this Glenelg team. At least for the last couple of years. And some uncharacteristic mistakes from Glenelg. We've seen a couple of times coming out of defence. They've turned the ball over. It's usually such a strength of theirs. Certainly early stages, though. So Harry Boyd doesn't like a run-up. Just likes to engage the body. Dunn jumped over him there. Lions couldn't gather. And we'll have another ball up. Right in the centre of Cooper's Stadium. Game number 100. At this ground between these sides. Boyd just took that one out of the ruck. Kick smothered. Clever tap by Hamilton to Murley. Good defensive work, Martini. Cavalry arrives from both teams. And umpire says, I'll ball this one up. Just forward of centre for Norwood. They have done... All the attacking, Bailey onto the loose ball, just scraps this one forward, hold a front position. 
Didn't sit for him. Jack Hurd, good contest between those two. Out of play, another boundary throw in. Good numbers on the outer side as well to watch this ball in. The 244s will go at it. Boyd and Dunn. Boyd front position. Grabbed it out of the ruck. Might have been taken high. And I said play on. Panos. He's backwards to Hurd. Kick down the line. And a good mark by Maxi Proud at half back. He wants to go straight away. He's got lines in the middle of the parade. He kicks to the lead of Reed Culler. Culler just looking for an option downfield and finds Billy Stretch. That's 60 out from Glenelg's goal. Straightens it. There's a ball Norwood plays here. Big clash. O'Neill did well. Just come in and spoiled it. And then the ball's just been kicked out into space. First one back there will be Chris Curran. I don't know which way to go. Under pressure from Nelligan. Gets the handball to Bell. Bell tried to step backwards from the Nelligan tackle. Nelligan did really well. Now Hurd's laid a tackle. That was Finn. Back to Nelligan. Short kick Morris. Morris plays on. Open square. Kicks towards goal through 60 metres. And it bounces the wrong way. Oh. Minor score. Three goals, four, 22. Glenelg, two goals, 12. Wow, the grandstand was up then. I reckon I was almost out of my seat too. Outstanding play by the legs. We're with Martini, Alex Martini, right half back. Premiership player from last year. Best team man at the club. Plays on. Ugly looking kick in the end. Just went for distance. And holding his ground was Pierce Seymour. Taking a nice intercept mark. Glenelg have really struggled to go forward of centre. Callow going to get a good run at this. Brave by Curran to stand under that footy. Allen, such a good user of the ball. And that is no exception. Straight onto the chest of Darcy Bailey. Wastes no time. And now through the middle, there's Hugh Stagg. You saw how dangerous he was. Beautifully weighted kick to Reynolds, who just lost his man down there. And when Glenel can transition the ball quickly, those forwards are so clever. And well, that was a perfect kick. And Reynolds will line up for his first. Well, it started from Darcy Bailey, a halfback. He just wanted to go. He yep. wanted to play on it. He wanted to use the corridor. It's exactly what he did. That created the space. And uh, the kick from Stagg to Reynolds was spot on. And he will have this set shot. And is generally a pretty reliable set shot for goal, Luke Reynolds. Two goals last week, Luke Reynolds. Oh, gee, that's a shot. Well, the market's on the him. Boot. Absolutely. Have you seen a worse commentator's curse? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. There's no such thing, by the way. It doesn't matter what we say. It does not affect the game at all. Well, that wasn't even close from Luke Reynolds. Good news for Glenelg, though. It's still deep inside their 50. Gould being asked to do the ruck against Boyd, who wins that one convincingly. Kick out of a contest. Will pitch and bounce out of play. Boundary throw in about 60 metres around from the Glenelg goal. Yeah, that was uh, Billy Cootie. Good name. Mm. Good footy name. Got the clearing kick out of defence. Crowd, I reckon, has built a little bit in their last uh, 15 minutes as well. Absolutely. Not easy to get a park out there tonight. No, so maybe a few walking in yep. away. Boyd, excellent handball to Cootie. Cootie down the line, hits Callow on the chest. Great lead. Hits him up. Turns and goes quickly. 12-3. Used the body beautifully. Took the chest mark. He's got uh, one inside. Just ignored that. And that was at Simpson. Spends a little bit more time. and kicks it straight to Glenelg. Mm. Well, he's almost put it in the middle of three Glenelg defenders. And Max Proud took an easy mark. Went sideways to Sharonberg. So again, untidy going forward. The legs. They are going forward. This is where they've been very good, Nord. They're just pressing up, making life very difficult for the base. Bailey, no option but to go long. Gould got a good run at it. Umpire called play on. There's Oscar Adams. So Bailey again been very busy in this first term. Gould, was Reynolds got the good fly at it. Couldn't pull in the mark. Boyd down low. Umpire might have found a free kick here. He has. Just a high tackle to be Seymour to take the free kick. 
And only well, maybe two players behind Pierce Seymour here. So kicking to a very crowded forward line. A lot of Glenelg Guernsey's there through the hands of Curran. He's back onto it first. Had to take possession of that. Nor would they, can they just find space. They can't quite. Big pack forms. And we'll have another ball up. Only about 15 metres from the Glenelg goal, uh, no, the Norwood goal. Norwood are playing a little bit into Glenelg's hands here, but still the Glenelg defence is holding up well. Callow mm -hmm. took it out of the ruck, then went to ground. Sharon Berg, his kick was smothered. Nelligan over the top of the Sharon. And the umpire said, give it to me, blokes. We'll ball it up. Inside 50s, Norwood 19, Glenelg 6. Yeah, and it feels that way. Callow went with the fist towards goal. Lions will... Look for the boundary line and find it, and we'll have another throw in. So, deep into time on now, 25 and a half gone. They're right in front of the scoreboard, which shows a 10 point lead to Norwood. Seven scoring shots to two, they'd love a late one here. Holder's hands were good, proud. Just had to kick in hope there. Fist from Hurd. It's tough work in there. Have another ball up. 26 gone. First term, Norwood 3 4 22. And the Elks two straight 12. Holding the footy. It's an easy call for the umpire there. Bain and Lowe just ran out of room. And the Elk to exit. Through the hands of Hosey. Might get a free kick here, Lockie. At half back. He's got a little shove. And he went to complete the mark. Thinks about having a shot from half back, but decides <laughs> against it. Kicks down the line. Gould will fly in front. Just ran under the footy a little. Umpire's seen some holding. Free kick to Norwood. Billy Cootie. Looks a, a very capable player at this level. We know he played some VFL with the Bombers. It's back down the line. Gould was there. It went over the back to Boyd. Oh. Brought down and a tackle close to the boundary line by Martini. Umpire pinged him holding the ball. Or has he just handballed it out of bounds? He might have handballed it out of bounds. It will be a last possession rule. And Alex Martini from halfback. Just does it all, Harry Boyd, doesn't he? In the air, on the ground. In front of goals. Riley Holder couldn't pull that one in. There's Cootie. Snapping around the body. Hamilton front position. Curran got a fist to it. Nice pick up by Simpson. Darcy Bailey executes a beautiful spin move and then hits up a leading Lockie Hosey. And he's going to get the 25. Fair enough, I think. Donnelly just holding on. Hosey probably played that one pretty well, but to let him go, Tom Donnelly. Linnell's going to want to move this one quickly. Hosey sets it up nicely to the square. Using the body beautifully. Taking the intercept mark is Ling. Really well done by Ling. Hit Morris at half back. In the one glove. Not sure if it's a fashion statement or just helps him mark the ball better. Kicks down the wing. Martini. Try to go back. Handballed himself in the end. And the umpire pinged him holding the ball. Said that was a throw, not a handball. What well up, Mitch O'Neill? Mitch O'Neill to half forward. Kenley thought about flying. In the end, stayed down and still nearly marked it. Got the handball back. Nelligan. Great work. And the smother from McCarthy. Martini just kicked it straight down the throat of the Norwood defender and in the end that's quarter time Tim we've seen a pretty entertaining quarter of footy but Harry Boyd in the number 44 if you're just jo joining us that's not Tom Warhurst it is Harry Boyd I thought that was an outstanding throwback reference to Tom Warhurst oh, he was excellent one of work favourite players yeah. Yeah. even though he played for Norwood well keep us rolling Paul Bonzer as we kick off the second term here at Coopers Harry Boyd got the first tap towards half forward Nelligan nice gather from him Hamble towards Canelli. Creswell again, another stat, not one of his best. The kick went backwards off the side of the boot. Pierce Seymour overran it. Nice pick up from Cole Gerloff. Stag tackled, brought to ground, lost the footy. Creswell again got a touch in there. Lord to the outside. Panos in a battle with Snoop. That'll be good to watch. Panos over the footy. He's tackled by uh, Archie Lovelock and will have a stoppage on the outer wing. 
So the 244s lock arms again. Sam Dunn, clever tap over the head there. Straight to Kennelly though. It's wrapped up immediately by Snook. Absolute tackle machine. Matty Snook. Number three in the league last year. Always right up there. For those one percenters. O'Neill. Good attacking kick though. Only as far as the Bay's defender. Proud. Right in front of the Sandful commentary position. Put it to the feet of Gould. A good exit kick by Graham. Only as far though as Oscar Adams. Been impressive this kid. His first mm. game was very good against Port. It looks, uh, looks like a very capable player at league level. Spoil came from Graham on Gould. Lions front and centre. Shot out the handball to Matty Allen on the left. And a beautiful kick to Reynolds. Marks it 40 metres out on about a 43 degree angle. You could watch Matty Allen kick on that left foot all day, couldn't you? That was just a superb kick. It is a work of art at times. So important to Glenelg structure. And Luke Reynolds lining up for his first. And one set shot in the first quarter that was an absolute shocker. This one looks better off the boot. Might be a little bit to the right-hand side it is. So first minor score on the board for Glenelg. They are 2-1, Nord 3-4. It's a nine-point margin here at the parade at the start of the second quarter. Certainly a little better than his first shot at goal, Luke Reynolds. <laughs> so Seymour strolls out of the goal square, kicks long in the Boyd direction, front position, couldn't take it. There's Allen again, set upon by two Norwood players. Quick hands by Nelligan. Only as far as Bailey, though, beautifully weighted kick. Lions, long centering ball. Gould got a one-on-one, -on -one, works to the front and earns himself a free kick for over the shoulder maybe a little unlucky but he did have front position Will Gould, he put himself in the best position to take the mark or earn the free Yeah, I was watching that Tim and definitely Tommy Graham just got a hand right mm -hmm. on top of the shoulder so it was an easy, easy decision from the upper, not a lot in it but it was definitely it was there. there Yeah, maybe panicked a bit yeah, sometimes that's all you can do is make him earn it so Will Gould Looking for goal number two. Surprise forward maybe at the start of the night, but looking right at home as he strolls to 20 metres and puts that straight through the middle. Glenelg get the first of this second term and trim this margin right back to three points. The 3-1-19 trailing the legs, 3-4-22. Well, he likes kicking goals. <laughs> yeah. Is Will Gould. He's doing a bit of a happy dance after every goal. <laughs> it's great. So he's kicked two for tonight. As you said, and uh, Glenelg, all of a sudden, that 10-point margin's yeah. back to three. We know that uh, Glenelg aren't going to go away, but I, I just got a feeling that this is going right down to the wire. Yeah, I think just the, the, the way both of these teams play and the way they're playing tonight, it, yeah, it's got close game written all over it. Sam Dunn v Harry Boyd. Boyd got the tap down. Panos lurking, then Boyd picked it up again, and the umpire blows his whistle. We'll have another stoppage. Boyd used the body beautifully. Tapped it to the out in front of O'Neill. Couldn't gather the footy. Nelligan stole it. Little handball up from 12th tree to Boyle. And here is 12th tree again. Got it. Had a little give to Nelligan. Nelligan back, Dak Dunn ducked under a tackle even. Kicks towards the goal square. It's bouncing, it's bouncing. It's gone through for a minor score. And I'll just go and put my teeth back in, Tim. <laughs> so Norwood, their first score. Off the quarter, it's a minor one. Bailey. Young short to Kitschke. Fantastic crowd on that Cooper's Hill. It is an excellent spot to watch footy from. Kitschke went long, Boyd straight off that big chest of his, but able to grab it on the second go. Sets this one high. Getting back and, well, thinking he took a nice mark. Was proud. Play on, said the umpire. Callow one-on-one. -on -one. How will this bounce? Kitschke was smart, able to rush that one through. Norwood we'll get their second behind of the quarter in, in a minute. And they go to 3 6 Leading Glenelg 3-1-19. 
Good use of the body by Kitschke. Bell. Cole Gerloff. Excellent kick. Hugh Stagg in the middle of Nord Oval. Looks up and sees Lockie Hosey. Puts it in his direction. Donnelly went to ground. Lovelock. Hamble back to Gould. Just centres the ball to the top of the square. Reynolds is there. Hosey's hovering as well. Ken Elite. Later tackle. Ball shoveled out to Bell. Snap kick towards the goal square. Stack of players there. The big spoil comes from Graham. Front and centre, Lyon. Good tackle from behind from Boyle. Graham again has a kick smothered from Lovelock. It rolls out of bounds. 25 around in the right forward pocket. And Norwood have a five-point lead at the six-and-a-half minute mark of the second turn. Kick the only goal of this second so far. The Bays, they've trimmed a 10-point Quarter time deficit down to five. They can take the lead with a major here. We'll give that one to Boyd. Donnelly. He was taken high. And he will receive the free kick. Deep in defence. Got a runner in Murley. Wider a field. Cootie just took the player on and beat him with ease. Kicks long callow. Geez, he presents so well. He's got such strong hands. Kicks wide, looking for 12th tree and got him. Really good build-up from Norwood here. Hamilton got into space. Just couldn't quite take it at his feet. It's a tough one to take. Adams, good composure. Lovely kick to the outside of the boot to find Reynolds. Yeah, kick from 12th tree with just on the half volley. Mm -hmm. And the switch is on. Well, we'll work the ball out to the other side. Chris Current drives the ball down the wing. Hits Riley Holder on the chest. The little step back inside and stag inside 50. Takes the chest mark. He'll go back and have a set shot. Just running hard, the base. I was about to say Luke Reynolds covers so much ground. I just watched him take that mark 20 metres from the Norwood goal and he sprinted down inside 50. Stag did similar. He just found himself all alone, 35 out slide angle. Can put the Tigers in front with this kick, Hugh mm -hmm. Stag. Just crosses 50, slow approach. Made good contact, and it oh. goes through the middle. Umpire did a little bit of work, but all of a sudden the Tigers have hit the front. They're 4 one Norwood 3 6 24. Just like that, Tim. Yeah, it doesn't take long for a side that's as good as Glenelg. Just starting to win more ball around the ground and getting this game on their terms now. And, well, Hugh Stagg, he has a lovely finish. He's only 21 years old. I remember when I was starting out as a caller watching him in the under 18s and he was built like a league player back then. Yes. Won a league best and fairest at, at under 18s and. He's right at home in this Glenelg team. So we're back in the middle. Riley Holder to do the work against Boyd now. 12 hit outs to Boyd. 9 to Dunn, Glenelg's lead, Rutman. So it's a pretty, pretty even battle in the air. Boyd's going to win that one. Kennelly kept his feet. Couldn't take possession. Yeah, crashing through. Getting one high. Was Morris. Good attack on the footy. From Sam Morris. Put the head down. Won the hard ball. He's earned this free kick. He's got Ken Kennelly short. Kick had to be perfect, and it was. Again, just content to play this one short. Bain and Low Loads up. Big flight. No one can take the mark. Nice centering kick. Finds Kennelly, though. Good composure in the end. In fact, it was Ben Simpson that kicked that one inside 50. But it was Creswell again. We've yeah. You know, he's, he's been fantastic. 13 possessions and just hits up the skipper. That'll get him another game. <laughs> As uh, he's coming off for a well-deserved rest. Jade Rawlings down on the boundary, just giving some advice to his players. But Kennelly, the set shot. So one in the first for Kennelly. You're right behind this on the sandful now, cameras, and that never looked like missing. 
Jacob Kennelly gets one back for the legs, puts them back in front. He's second, Norwood's fourth. They go to 4 6 30. Five point leaders over Glenelg, 4 1 25. We played almost 11 minutes second term. It's one of those kicks, you know, straight off the boot. He was pointing to the crowd as soon as he, it left the boot. He flushed it straight through the middle. Beautiful kick from Kenley. Great skills. He yeah, flushed it, he did. You heard the thump. Probably yes. got that through the Sandful Now effects, Mike, I'm sure. But uh, you could hear that back up here in the grandstand. That was a beautiful kick. And two to Kennelly. And, well, they need, probably needed that one, Bonds. And, you know, order restored for the legs. Back out to that five-point margin. It's too early days. 11 and a half minutes gone in the second term. A lot of footy left in this one. Holder got the tap down to Bell. Hands off to Snook. Matty Snook inside 50. Reynolds is going to fly. Didn't get any, anywhere near it. Jack Hurt. Got the handball back to Ling. Seymour. Kicks it out of the danger zone. Panos was behind. Got the spoil in. O'Neill. Got the handball up to Panos. Now to Boyle. Cootie. Short. O'Neill. Good use of the footy. Ling tries to switch oh. it. Reynolds almost intercepted it. Graham wants to come back through the middle. He's got O'Neill. He's got a high one, and he will win the free kick. Bell just a little bit exuberant. Yeah, a little bit exuberant. They had him on the ropes there, Glenelg. Now Ben Simpson. Made his Norwood debut last week. Good spoil. Only as far as Graham, though. Not his greatest effort. Might work out for Norwood if it sits for Morris. It does. He's got Ling. Swings onto his left. Keeps that one very low. Brilliant pick up. Bain and low. And with the outside of the right. Just misses. Gee, how about the pick up? Bain and low. That was silky smooth and almost a great finish. It was the outswing in swinger. It looked like it was coming back. And then at the last minute went the other direction. It was the Chinana. <laughs> yes, very true. Scharenberg brings it back in for the Bays in the holder direction. Nice grab by Finn Hurd. Playing the second ruck duties tonight. Puts it back inside forward 50. 12-3 was in the pack. So was Max Proud. McCarthy close to the boundary line. Excellent tackle from Bain and Lowe. Close to the boundary line. We'll have a ball up here, Tim. Tackling a highlight for Norwood last week. Something they do really well. 30 more tackles than any other team in round one. Bell snaps out of trouble. Kick over the back. Might work here for O'Neill. He's got Ling, who Lovelock hits him as soon as he took possession, Matthew Ling. And we'll have a ball up. Just inside 50 for Norwood. He's about to shape. Have a shot at goal there, Matthew Ling. Outstanding run down by Lovelock. Holder. The tap to Bell. Kick was smothered. Panos. Hamilton. Gee, Bell did really well, not just to lay the tackle, but to win the footy. And Martini might have been a little bit lucky there. All the players appealing to the umpire, but we'll have a ball up. It was a good call. Bell just is doing some really important things. Same with Archie Lovelock. Just the little moments they're having. Not getting stats for it, but making an an impression on the game. 12-3. Gather the footy. Went back to Cootie. Billy Cootie snaps on the left. Kitsky back takes the mark deep in his defence. Wants to go straight away. Kicks to the outer side. Might be cut off by Lord. Couldn't complete it. Matty Allen got it back to Proud. Proud's in trouble. Mm. That's holding the pill. He had an arm pinged. Mitch O'Neill's the man who laid the tackle. This will take O'Neill's best. He plays on straight away. Gives it to Panos from 50 metres. Matty Panos is just offline. And through for a minor score. And Norwood out to a seven-point lead. They're four goals, eight. Benelg four goals, one here at Norwood. And they're peppering again the legs. A couple of almost goals. Long clearing kick. That's an outstanding mark. Holding his ground, Seymour went really short to Boyle, put him under enormous pressure. Tackle arrived from Gerloff, holding the footy. And you want to give this one back, Jordan Boyle, or you might get pinged. 
Cole Gerloff playing his old home ground. He had hair back then, those days, I didn't he? He might have. I like his new haircut. He didn't though. have a premiership, though, back then. He does now, <laughs> so we'll Good take goal. it. So Snook right in front of the sample now. Commentary position throws this one on the left. Only as far as Jack Hurd. Had state footy last week for the Sandful team, Jack Hurd. He's got Ling. He has a beautiful left foot to Cootie. Thought about the handball back to Ling. Still thinking about it. Now he has to backtrack and come wide because there is that man. The man who's had the ball on a string tonight. It's Jake Creswell. Good composure from Billy Cootie as well. It's up Panos. O'Neill short, not the required, called to play on. Flat kick inside 50. Just on the bounce, puts the Glenelg defence under pressure. Proud to Sharonberg. And Sharonberg finds Billy Stretch at half back. Stretch wants to go. Half corralled by Hamilton, but ends up hitting Reynolds on the chest. Drop the mark. Has Curran in support. Kicks down the line. There might be a free after disposal. That will be a free kick going to... Matty Snook. Still too far out to score. About 70 from home. Bombs it up a big Sammy Dunn. Fingertips to it. Front and centre Lord. Heard to Seymour. And finds Lingy. Matty Ling on the boundary line on the paint of 50. So Matty Ling right in front of the scoreboard. Northeastern end of Cooper Stadium. And he kicks that straight out on the fall. So Lanilg will bring this one straight back in. Reynolds leading up. Heard got the spoil. Seymour. Long way down for the big man there, and the ball didn't sit up for him. Stag happy to bustle him over the line. And we'll have a boundary throw in. And as we tick over. 18 minutes played second term here at Cooper Stadium. Good game. Friday night footy on Sandful now. Done over the back. Got the hit out. Murley read at best. Only as far as holder. Darcy Bailey runs to 60. Sends this one long and straight through the middle. Darcy Bailey, what a goal. Glenelg 5-1-31. Cut this margin back to one behind and well, Darcy Bailey, a couple of years ago, he was a goal kicker. I don't think he's kicked one for a while, and you won't see much better than that tonight. I slid up, didn't they? As yeah. soon as he was within range, no one back deep in defence for Norwood. Open goal square, flat, strong kick. Darcy Bailey gets his first for the day, and Glenelg kicked three goals to one in this quarter. To close that gap, Norwood still lead it by a point. It's 32 plays 31. 19 minutes in this second term. You know, who supports community footy? Amy does. Tim Sewell, Paul Bonzer with you. Cracking game of footy. Right here on Sandville now. The tap down from Boyd. Martini runs onto it. Broke the tackle. Excellent work. Got the kick towards Stag. Alice Lord. My Lord, that was nice. So Lord goes across the ground to find Murley. Oh, he made that life tough for Donnelly. Let Hosey in. Little kick off the ground. How will the umpire see this? He will say last touch by Lockie Hosey. And a free kick to Norwood. Good mix of red and blue and black and yellow in the crowd out there. Kicks long Callow. He's had an arm held. Couldn't Get two mitts to it. This is tough footy in there. Big pack forms. And we'll have a ball up. About 65 from the Norwood goal. Panos dribbles that one. Forward, dangerous looking kick. Crowbont holding the footy. Glenelg under siege a little bit here. Heard with the pick-up, he's set upon. Bailey, the goal kicker, wrapped up. And we'll have a ball up about 15 metres 
Outside the Norwood goal, they're in a dangerous position, Bonds. They certainly are. Callow grabs it out of the ruck. And there's some holding here. It's going to big Sammy Dunn. Just in the ruck contest. Or am I being just off of the, that contest, trying to clear some space for Callow just to run into an open goal? Dunn. Martini, good grab at half back. Slid in from the side. Took a two grabbers. Got Bell running for him. And a little bit wider than that, McCarthy finds him and now uses Bell. Centre wing broadcast side. The bench is yelling out all sort of instructions. Lions. Lions flat kick to the lead of Riley Holder. Ling has the ball on the bounce. Umpire said holding the ball. Well, I thought he got a handball out there. Umpire disagreed. Free kick to Hugh Stagg. Well, you had yeah, to see yeah. that, Tim. Well, always always a tricky one when we're up here. I don't know. I, I won't go against the umpire. He's pretty close to the action there. We're right behind Hugh Stagg, who has kicked one from a similar distance on the other side of the ground, Bonds. Yeah, I think you're too nice. So <laughs> 22 minutes gone <laughs> in the second term. This to put Glenelg back in front. Oh. Instead, he ties it up. Misses to the left-hand side. 5-2 plays, 4-8, 32 points apiece. We've gone 22 minutes in the second term. Dare I say it, no harm done. <laughs> so Donnelly... Footy gods are Yeah, watching. footy gods. Footy gods. Donnelly plays on. Thumps this one out in the Boyd direction. Adams came from deep to spoil. The new players, they just fought for it initially. We'll have a ball up right in front of your sandful now at commentary position. Tim Saul and Paul Bonds are bringing you all the action live on sandful now, streaming on the AFL app and AFL website. And we hope you're enjoying the broadcast wherever you're tuning in from. Bonds, the great thing about streaming is you can be watching us from anywhere in the world. All you need is an internet connection. Oh, oh bang! Harry Boyd, I felt that one from here. Accidental, of course, but Reed Culler to take the free kick. It's got to be a big hit to uh, knock this guy down. He is a tough footballer. Kicks towards Gould, who flew. Kennelly. Well, Martini closed him down. Smothered the kick. The Sharon comes loose. Gould tried to go off the ground. Reynolds missed the target with the handball. Martini doing some great work this quarter. Got the smother. Gathered the footy. Gerloff dropped it. Now Graham for Norwood. Graham has kicked it to me, and it's gone out <laughs> on the full. And it will be a free kick to the base. Just reach out and catch, catch it, Bonds. The great Richie Benno said that once. Yeah. So Matty Allen, been gushing over his foot skills all night. Just sets this one up. And the whistle's gone. Empire's found a free kick to Norwood this time, just off... The contest there, it goes to Jacob Kennelly. In some kind of game tonight, Kennelly's kicked two. Goes long holder in the box seat here through his hands. Martini, the bottom of the pack as he often finds holder's hands were good. Only as far as Boyd, he just thumps this one. Proud got to sit underneath and well... You normally bat Maxi Proud to take that one. And the Norwood supporters in the members stand letting him know all about that one, Bonds. Yeah, you don't see that very often. Maxi had his eyes on it and uh, you know, just slipped through the hands. We have a throw in on the gather round symbol. People are still gathering around at Norwood. <laughs> Sharonberg should have been pinged. Cootie, nice little kick to boil in the middle. Ling now over the top to Lord. Lord kicks in side 50. Uh, Bain and Lowe in front. McCarthy just worried him out of it. Max Proud working hard as he always does. Gets a fist on it. Martini got a push in the back. In fact, it's Cole Gerloff. The other bald badger. And he will kick to Sharonberg. You're allowed to say that, aren't you, Bonds? Yeah, is there in the club. Yep. I wouldn't dare. <laughs> as I put my comb back in my pocket. <laughs> So, 
Game nearing half time. Still evenly poised. Boyd just gets to every contest. Affected that spoil. How will the umpire see this? See it as a stalemate. We'll have a ball up. About to hit 26 minutes played. Second term. Scores tied. Free kick to Harry Boyd. Thumps this one high. Tough one for his teammates. It's Curran. And there is your half-time siren. The second quarter runs 20 last term. And then Glenelg kick five of the next six to run away with it. Norwood, not going to let that happen tonight, you wouldn't think. Paul Bonza with you now on Sandful and now. Harry Boyd and Riley Holder to start in the ruck for the Bays in the second half. Shovel to handball towards Lyons. Allen had his kick smothered by Cootie. Fell to Bailey. Bailey on the right boot down the wing. Eustag, good use of the body. Ling closed him down. Billy Stretch was there to help. Tried to tuck the ball back under Billy Stretch, did Matty Ling. And the umpire said, I'm not falling for that one. I'll ball it up. Half forward for... The Tigers. Riley Holder in the ruck. Close to the boundary line. Lions wobbles one inside 50. Hosey went to ground. Donnelly tackled him. He might be in a bit of trouble here, Loggy Hosey. Has to get the ball out. He's pinged holding the ball. Good tackle. Pierce Seymour had the ice skates on there for a moment. Well, Hosey just went to ground straight away. And he yeah. always, always had to get the ball out. So it's good work by Donnelly just to wrap him up. Win the free. Goes along now in the callow direction. He had two to beat. Ball bounces over the line. And we'll have a boundary throw in. Right in front of the sample now. Commentary position. Tim Saul and Paul Bonzer with you tonight on a beautiful Friday night for football at Cooper Stadium. Holder might have won that hit out over the back. No room to move in there, though, for O'Neill. Hands the ball back to Lyons, who gives it to the umpire. Boyd and Holder again. Lyons just had one arm pinned by O'Neill. Snook, he's a tough player. Matty Snook takes two to tackle him on that occasion, and we'll have another ball up. I'll tell you what it is, Tim. It's a little colder than what it was 15 minutes ago. It's down to... Uh, End of 12 degrees. Feels like 10. I do want that job of the feels like <laughs> too. Whoever does that, I reckon I'd be good at that. Ball in the middle of the parade. Snook lays a tackle. Bell in there as well. And we know we've got a, quite a few people watching, including some of our commentary friends. Mm. So they're watching and hello to uh, all of that motley crew as we kick to half forward. Matty Ling takes the mark, going back with the flight. His game's getting better and better as the longer the game goes on. Had a good second term. Was a bit quiet in the first. Kick to this broadcast side. It's a lead from Simpson. And the spoil over the boundary line from that man, Max Proud. He would have done that a thousand times. He's such a great player over a long time for Max Proud. Two-time premiership player. Also won premierships at under-18 and reserves level for Glenelg, so he's done it all. Thought about retirement. He couldn't keep him away, so he's back for another year. Bailey, hands and knees. Hurried kick by Curran. He's going to pitch in good contest. Murley and Hugh Stagg. Played footy against each other at under-18 level in the sand full. And doing battle again at league level. Boundary throw in. Boyd just with strength gets to the front. Lions first two at handball went nowhere. Allen had to go and get it. Kicks to a contest. Oh. Lovelock hit that hard. Hamilton, Gerloff over the top of him. Might be in trouble. Here he is holding the footy. Cole Gerloff wins the free kick. Again, a player going to ground. It's good uh, from Gerloff to just lock him up. Kicks inside 50. Hosey in a one-on-one. -on -one. Ball fell to the back. Mitch O'Neill tried to get a handball out. Got it straight to Hugh Stagg. He snapped it across goals. Bell in a battle. 
with Pierce Seymour close to the line and goes out in front of good crowd on Cooper's Hill. We're talking at halftime, Tim. We reckon there's probably maybe about 3,000 here, maybe a little bit more than that. It's a bit hard to tell. Great to see another good crowd on Friday night out at Norwood. Pierce Seymour drives the ball to half forward. Finn Hurd lost the footy. Hamilton kicks down the wing. Callow went with the one hand. Nelligan, clean possession. Hambles over the top. Boyle. Now Callow jugs it to his own advantage. Now they've lost it and turned it over. It's with Chris Curran. That's Gould back in defence now. Kicking long. Pinpoint to hold it. And Riley Holder thumps this one forward. Norwood have numbers. Murley, good quick hands. Oh, thumped as he kicked that. And, yeah. No free kick going. It was last touched. And it will be Riley Holder to send this one straight back into attack. Standing tall, taking a nice mark. As always, Harry Boyd. Boyd short. It was a poor kick, really. Straight mm. to Boyd. And to Declan Hamilton. Well, he's hard to he's hard to miss Boyd, but yeah, he's about the size of three human, normal <laughs> humans. Close to the boundary line, Nelligan. Might have marked that. He did. He went the, he got the first fist on it and then took the second grab on the chest. Drives towards Callow and Kitsky. Callow used the body well. Was it legal? Umpire said yes it was. Jackson Callow takes the mark inside 50. He'll have a set shot on a 45. Probably kick from right on the paint of 50. Just threatened to do that a couple of times tonight, hasn't he, Callo? He's got such great hands. And this one certainly within his range. Spent a uh, couple of seasons at the mighty Hawthorne Football Club, which can only be a good thing <laughs> for his development. He will kick from 50 metres. Good looking kick. Goal umpire hardly moved. Gets his first for the night. And Nord hit the front. They're a goal up. 38 plays 32. Great start to the Red Legs in the second half. Jackson Callow, perfect strike of the ball. That one never looked like missing. He had a goal in round one against Sturt. He's got another one here against Glenelg. Thought he was good in the state game last week as well. Kicked a goal there too. And Norwood, as they did in the first term, they kicked the first. And an early six-point lead. We've gone seven minutes. Third term here on Sandville now. Been a real arm wrestle that first five or six minutes. Not the free-flowing footy that we saw in that second term. So Sam Dunn back in the centre. Boyd ran at him there. Martini did well to win the clearance. Lovelock got a hand to it. Couldn't pull it in. He's back on the scene quickly. Now Gerloff with strength. Sends this one forward right to the feet of Gould. Hosey there as well. Dived on the footy again, Lockie Hosey. It came out through Murley. Lord. Now Panos. Cootie. Boyle back to Cootie. And very nice work to find Morris, who couldn't quite pull it in. Norwood fans out there think he might have done enough to win the mark. Umpire says no, though. We'll have a throw in. Norwood defence holding strong. And their midfield's getting back to help out as well. We've seen Cootie go back. We've seen Mitch O'Neill work back hard in defence. Twig Rawlings will be very happy the way his midfield's playing tonight. Gerloff taken when he didn't have the footy. We'll get the free kick. I think the men in pink have been pretty good tonight too, Tim. Apart from that one glaring mistake <laughs> that I called. <laughs> They've been outstanding, Bonds. <laughs> that would be very good. <laughs> kick into the forward pocket. Matty Allen's taken the mark deep in the pocket right in front of Cooper's Hill. We'll be getting some advice from the Nord supporters over there, which is all fair and good. Great part of footy and local footy. You can get so close to the action and give the players some advice from over the fence. Yeah, I was going to say they can actually hear you in the sandfall when you call out to them. <laughs> it's 
fairly confident here. It's, yeah. He's in the wrong pocket for a left footer. Looks like he's holding this for a drop punt, though. Kicks on its way. And <laughs> missed horribly out on the full. Yeah, the Coopers Hill told the story there, didn't <laughs> they? they? Did. Straight off the boot, they knew. Or oh, just slipping at the worst possible time. But Donnelly arrives to help his teammate, Kitschke. Got a good run at that. And a nice leap from two deep. Pulls in a good mark. Sends Glenelg straight back inside through Donnelly's hands. Heard got the kick away. Only as far as Martini, not a known goal kicker, sends his right to the square. Gould couldn't mark. Hamilton, geez, he had to take that Hamilton amongst a nest of gold jerseys. And he's wrapped up no more than 15 metres out from the Glenelg goal. Boyd, a tap down. Close to the behinds and rushed through for a minor score. A little bit of a score check here. Glenelg a 5-3. Nord are 5-8. And that's a five-point lead. Straight down the middle of the ground. It's at half forward. Lions use the body well. High kick inside forward 50. Hosey out of position. Jack Hurd in position. Takes an uncontested mark in the end. Holding up well, the Norwood defence. Bain and Lowe a bit further from goal than he normally is. And ball back to Donnelly. That one, clean, bold, Finn Hurd. And Elk have numbers, but the pressure from Norwood is good. Cootie and Lyons has been a great battle. Lyons wins this one, had his kick smothered, though. It's Martini. You heard Bonds talk about Martini at half time. Just battling away. Never giving an easy possession. We started the second half in at the first centre bounce as well. Mm. So obviously the coach is happy with his workers um, in the first half. He might have a roll on Kennelly. We'll see. Might too. Curran with the footy. Chips to that man, Martini. Made him earn that one. A good mark. Curran just cramping up behind Martini. He chips this one. Shallow entry, only as far as that man again. Big Harry Boyd. And Norwood can come away through Hurd. Wants to find 12th tree. Little handball to Creswell. Creswell hacked it forward. Callow overrun the footy. McCarthy went to ground. He might be in trouble here. Mm. Umpire gives him the benefit of the doubt. And we'll have a ball up. Half forward. For what? The red legs. Boyd again with a tap. He's dominating them in there. Colour laid a tackle on Panos. And now Creswell lays a tackle on Colour. And we'll have another stoppage. Twelve and a half minutes gone. 38 plays. 33. The home team leading at the moment. Martini snaps it around the corner. Gould takes a one-handed grab in front of Graham. Well played. Wants to cut back inside. Delivers it inside 50. Reynolds and Hurd. Hurd takes a strong mark in defence. Well played. G did well there. He was out of position for a while. Just stuck with it. Morris was a difficult one for him to take. Seymour got rid of it. And now Morris. And the man with one glove measures a perfect one to O'Neill. Thought he did enough there, Mitch O'Neill. Umpire said he didn't. He's going to ball this one up. I thought he caught one high there too, mm. Mitch O'Neill. The ball up just forward to centre for the legs. Finn Hurd won that one. There's Martini again. He is racking up possessions. Bell sends this one long. Nice work from Gould to just punch that forward. But Jack Hurd is there as he so often has been this quarter. That one carried a little bit further. And the players might have thought Bain and lower half chance. Good handball to 12th tree. He's going to put that through. Isaac 12th tree. Bain and Lowe was clever. But the finish was superb by 12th tree. Norwood get two on the trot to open this third term. And they go to 6 8 44. Might be a game high 11 point margin. And it's all about the handball over the top from Bain and Lowe. Back over his head. He heard the voice, or he just felt the presence mm. of 12th tree. 
and just opened up the space and 12-3 finished off from about 48 metres out. Good goal for the legs and as you mentioned, a little break here, 11 mm. points. And the Panos has gone into the middle with Simpson and O'Neill. And Finn Heard to do the ruck work against first gamer Sam Dunn. Can the Bays reply immediately? Matty Snook's going to try and get it forward. Quick kick around the corner. Clean bowls a couple of players. Lovelock lays a tackle on Lord. And we'll have a stoppage at half forward for the Tigers. Crowd starting to get involved as well. Dunn clearly got the tap, but straight to Panos. Spirals one towards half forward. Max Brad come to meet it. Bain and low. Shrug the tackle. Kicks inside forward 50. And yeah. the hold of the jumper. Mm. Billy Cootie will take the free kick. Only about 20 metres out. Oscar Adams just grabbed the jumper. Umpire was right there. And a chance to get the margin at the 17 points. It looked all right when the ball was in the air, Oscar Adams, but as soon as it hit the ground, he was worried about Billy Cootie, wasn't he? Just pretty obvious jumper pull there. And, well, the dangerous Cootie's going to line up for his first. And, Tim, again, we've seen Bain and Lowe, an important oh. touch. He just broke a tackle. Yep. And all of a sudden, he had an open 50 with with two players, kicked it to the to his player as an advantage and Cooty gets the free kick and now a set shot. Hit a couple last week and he's kicked one tonight. That margin is now 17 points. Cooty gets his first and Norwood just open up a little break against last year's Premiers. Yeah, well, it was a real arm wrestle this first uh, first half of this third term. We had no score for the first seven minutes. And Norwood have kicked three in the past eight. Take a bit of a stranglehold here. Still plenty of time for a side. The quality of Glenelg, of course, but they are looking ominous here, the legs. And the difference here is the forward line's been pretty open when they've been going forward, and then you get that touch of class through someone like Bain and Lowe. So how will Glenelg respond? Boyd wins that one clearly. Holder went and got it. Only as far as O'Neill kicks that one high. Play on will be the call. Martini just hacks that one forward. Lord leads in the race for the foot. He had to be clean and he was. Good kick to find Simpson. And now... An order away again through Boyle. Good contest. And again they go deep. The dangerous low. McCarthy in best position though. And Brad McCarthy he teaches my son science at Cabra. Oh, Shout out go. to Mr. McCarthy. <laughs> Mr. McCarthy. <laughs> Sends Glenelg on their way out of defence. Hit close to the boundary line. Reynolds in the fingers. Takes a nice grab. Wheels around on the left. Gould is going to run at this one. Out the back, Matty Snook. Great possession. Kicks to Hosey. Chopping in the arms up by said play on. Gould had it, dropped it. Good tackle from Seymour on the bottom of this pack. I don't reckon it's coming out. And the players push and shove each other. Umpire took an, mm. a decade to blow his whistle then. But we will have a ball up inside forward 50. Lucky Hosey may be a little unlucky not to get the free kick. Straight away, back in. The umpire throws it up. Simpson had an airy. Martini's in there trying to win it for his team again. Bell went hard at it. Simpson handled back to Graham, and Graham will kick it out of the danger zone. Curran got a hand to it. Hacked off the ground by Panos. Proud back there. He's been under pressure a lot tonight. Proud Panos followed up well with the kick off the ground. Proud tracked well by 12 treat. Sends a nice one down the member's side and over the top of Martini was O'Neill. Excellent use of the body. We're right, it's right in front of us here and he just nudged Martini under the footy. Great work. Really coming into this game, Mitch O'Neill. Lovely kick to space. O'Neill gave too many players on this occasion though. And it'll be McCarthy to clear in the Allen direction. Just nice use of the body. 
to nudge Murley under the footy. Allen plays on. And now Long, Gould in the box seat. Yeah, just used his body well again. It's been a good contest, him and Seymour. Just worked him off the footy and Gould to single an elk forward. Kicks to the lead of Hosey. Donnelly with the spoil over the boundary line. Off hands and we'll have a ball in. Hosey with just the one goal in the mm. first quarter tonight. Still plenty of time for him to make an impact. We've gone 19 and a half minutes in the third term. It is a 17-point lead to the Red Legs. The throw in. Gould doing the ruck work against Boyd. Really no contest. Boyd just tapped it down and there'll be a free kick going to Norwood. And on the bottom of that pack, it is Creswell. Liked his game tonight. Really good first half. A little bit quiet in this third quarter. But still getting some possessions. So, touch number 18 for Creswell. Sends this one long. Curran at the back. Hands were good. Sharonberg. The footy was hot. McCarthy. Beautiful intercept. Kennelly. Panos. Hands to Hamilton. Thought about blazing away. Had a couple of options. One is Bain and Lowe. He wants to play on. Because streaming into the open goal is Boyle. And he kicks Norwood's fourth of the term. Jordan Boyle, that's his first goal in a legs jumper. A really unselfish play by the legs there. And all of a sudden, Bonds, we're out to 23 points. Yeah, they've opened this game up, the red legs. And it, again, it comes from that forward pressure and the tackling and just putting the Glenelg defence under pressure. They get the turnover and then calm heads prevail. Yeah. They, there was four Nord players running forward to one Glenelg player. Yep. They were always in the box seat there to kick the goal. Jordan Boyle ran from his wing all the way down by himself and finished off. Great running goal from Norwood. 21 minutes gone in this third term. And it is a 28-point uh, margin. 27-point margin, even. 23. 23, that's the one. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. You're obviously better at math than I was. <laughs> Allen gets the kick into the forward 50. Jack Hurd. Good pressure from Luke Reynolds. And the ball's handballed out of bounds. Last possession rule going to the Tigers. Hugh Stagg. Kicks to the danger zone. Gould went up with one hand. You need two in this competition, Will. And the umpire's seen a free kick for a high shot on Donnelly, and he might get 25 as well. Will Gould just did some undisciplined stuff. Donnelly's still slow to get up. And he might get another one, so that's a 50 mm. metre. That was a bit of verbal, I reckon. Will Gould can't believe it, but umpire was right there. And Donnelly will get the free kick. It's a bit undisciplined from Glenelg. Don't see that very often. Donnelly's been... Big this quarter. Sends this one long. Callow. Almost. Again, Norwood have players to the contest. Creswell overran it. McCarthy arrives on the scene. Happy to see that one out. And we'll have a boundary throw in. Four straight the legs this quarter. Just the one behind. To Glenelg. Norwood attacking again. Boyd front position. Straight down to Kennelly. Been good in close, Norwood. There's Creswell again. Lowe had to sit under that. Thought he might have been getting a free kick. Billy Stretch under enormous pressure, as so many Glenelg players have been, and we'll have another ball up. Being very impressive, the Norwood tackling tonight. They've been all over Glenelg. Good smother from Lyons on the boot of Panos. Corey Lyons wobbles a kick straight down the throat of Matty Link. Matt Ling, centre wing, right in front of your Sandville Now commentary box. We'll kick it inside 50. Might have been touched off hands. The spoil came anyway. Allen almost handled it straight back in danger. Martini got up high, couldn't take the mark. Boyd. It's a handball to Murley, and Murley kicks it out on the floor. No, we're doing all the attacking. Almost 24 minutes played. Third term. And Glenelg hemmed in here. They really struggled to work the ball out of defence tonight. 
Boyd front position, he's been so strong. Creswell tackled by Holder. Tim Norwood uh, plus 11 in the inside 50s and 41 to 15 in the hitouts. Wow. Harry Boyd just standing tall. That was pretty even early, the hitouts. So Boyd getting right on top. And Reynolds leading Seymour to the ball on this occasion. Took a good mark. Unhappy with the treatment he was getting there, Luke Reynolds. He's got Bailey short. He goes longer, but Norda filled the hole. Unfortunately, Ling spoiled Creswell. A bit of friendly fire. Kennelly first to the ball, tackled by a couple of players. And we'll have a ball up. About 60 from the Glenelg goal. Gee, they'd want one this term, Bonds. Yeah, Glenelg would love to kick a goal. I mean, goalless so far, as you mentioned. Norda kick four to get one or maybe two before three-quarter time. That should have been holding the ball. Spun around three times was McCarthy in the end. Didn't matter because Nelly, Nelligan takes the mark on the wing. Been very impressive, the Red Legs this quarter. Got the Tigers on the back foot. Curran will fly. At the front was Kennelly. Creswell. Forward handle, 12-3, tried to tap it on. Did pretty well in the end. Declan Hamilton kicks towards Callow in a one-on-one -on -one with Adams. Adams did well, got the spoil. Quick kick from Proud. It's going to be marked by Lyons. No, couldn't complete the mark. Hamilton, a high kick towards the goal square. It's going to land in the square. Reed Cullen did well. Panos <laughs> off the ground. Minor score. Oh. Gee. 8-9 plays 5-3. Uh, they're on the ropes here, the base. McCarthy. Really nothing happening for him. Just has to go super short. 24 points, by the way, Tim. 24 points. <laughs> good maths, Bonds. <laughs> Matty Snoke has to be good here. Norwood just getting great numbers to the footy. Again, they force the turnover. This time, Cootie. Little high for 12th tree. Did pretty well, as did McCarthy. And a good quarter, Brad McCarthy. Kick just eludes Hosey. Snook, was he taken high? Free kick before that. He's going to Lord. And again, Norwood wastes no time and play on quickly. All Glenelg here. And Matty Allen takes the easiest of intercept marks. Haven't done much wrong this quarter. That kick was probably a little wasted. Matt Allen just standing in the hole by himself. Just to the outer side, to the leader, Hosey. Working hard up the ground. Takes the mark at half back. Lucky Hosey. Will need to make an impact in the last quarter, you reckon, if Glenelg are going to come back and win this as the siren goes. And that margin's 24 points, Tim. Yeah, we were all tied up at half time. And he'd absolutely take it. Paul Bonzer, bring us home. Martini's gone to Mitch O'Neill. And Snook up against Kennelly. Matty Snook will get the first clearance. Bomb it long inside 50. Reynolds might have been held. Attack the footy. Hugh Stagg, nice pick up. Goes around the corner. Puts it to the danger zone. It's bouncing towards goal. Hosey tracks it close to the boundary line. Comes off hands. We'll have a throw in right next to the left hand behind post. It's a 24-point margin. That's four goals in the old school. Just gone 30 seconds in the final term. Will Gould to do the ruck work against Boyd in the forward line. Boyd, another tap down from him. Comes to Reed Culler. He gets a high kick. It's not going to uh, anywhere but out of bounds. Graham thumps it out and we'll have another throw in. So Lockie Hosey, just the one goal. Tonight, have to go back to round 14 last year. For the last time, Lockie had just the one major. I think we had a blood rule here. Tim, just waiting for Billy Cootie to get back in position. Just having his rest cut a little bit short. Billy Cootie. He's the type of player who'd much rather be out there amongst it. No one wins that hit out at all. Hamilton 
Didn't really look where he was kicking, just put that one up. Curran came crashing through to make a contest. Quick hands, there is Cootie just on the ground. Little dribble kick. Girl off. Just another untidy forward 50 entry. And Matty Ling, he called it in the third. Bonds, he's just worked his way into this beautifully. Boyle just got his kick away. Glenelg have the numbers, but Norwood have the pressure as they have done all night. Able to force this stoppage and we'll have a ball up. Centre wing position out of side. 12-3, good tackle to keep the ball in the area. Girl off. A little give to Snook. Snook inside, 50. Reynolds takes the mark, diving forward. In front of Jack Hurd. And he has got this distance in him without too much worry at all. Confidently walking back. Like Glenelg number seven. Try and close this gap. To 18 points. Not much Heard could do about that. Just out in front to space and a good grab by Reynolds. Not wasting too much time. Kicks from 52 metres. Made good contact. Might fall a little bit short. And fisting it through as Pierce Seymour for a minor score. That's a 23-point margin. We've gone three minutes in the final term. Players just setting up. And Norwood in no hurry. Seymour strolls out. Kicks this one long the outer side to Harry Boyd. Just stands strong. What a luxury to have a big target like Harry Boyd to kick to coming out of defence. And as he does so often, takes the grab, finds Morris. Hurd leading up. That's Finn Hurd. Takes the mark in the centre of the ground. He's got a player wide. Heads in that direction. And Declan Hamilton. Takes the mark in front of his interchange bench. Goes forward. Glenelg again have numbers. Snook. Proud. Bell front position takes a nice grab. Umpire said play on it. was touched off the boot. Matty Allen, well, umpire blindsided but still saw that one. It was a high tackle. Nord members not thrilled about it, but it was there. Matthew Allen to take the free kick centre wing position. He saw it late there and... Manny Allen sort of reacted as if he got hit high. And he certainly did. Snoop. Working hard in this last quarter. Like, that's a big surprise to anyone. <laughs> this does not stop Matty Snoop. Long kick to a contest. Comes off hands out the back. Boyle went this way, went that way. Got a beautiful kick in the end out to Cootie if he meant it. It was a, yeah. just a slight bit of genius there from Jordan Boyle. Cootie, called to play on. He's out the other side and taken the mark was Chris Curran. Old school, black boots. Back to Darcy Bailey and the switch is on. Reed Culler will take the mark. What's he got in front of him? Gould just pulled up a little proppy on that lead. We'll keep an eye on that, mm. uh, Tim, because I reckon he grabbed it. Might yeah. have twinged a hammy here. Oh, we'll stick with the action, though. It's Norwood through Morris. Finn Hurd. Back to Morris. And just content to keep possession here, Norwood, through Panos. He's got a player running for him in Creswell. Uh, just should have taken a bit more time there. In the end, no damage done. Proud couldn't pull in the mark. Big Callow. Gets to his knees. Morris again, another possession. Finn Hurd going to snap around on his left. Saving mark right on the line by Gerloff, who has Sharonberg. For Glenelg supporters, I can tell you, Will Gould is just cramp. The trainer come to him, and he sent the trainer away. Just a little bit of cramp in the hammy. Oh, the turnover comes. Ling, short kick. I don't know if that was a required distance, <laughs> but Boyd has marked the ball 41 metres out. Not much angle to speak of. And this would make it very, very difficult for the Tigers if he could slot this one. And again, that unselfish play in, in the forward line. Ling would have been quite entitled to have a shot from 50 there. Saw a man in a better position, spotted him up, and this will make life very difficult for Will, the base. Will Gould's coming off the ground. Mm. Probably get uh, maybe some pickle juice. <laughs> no one likes pickles. <laughs> 
Boyd, a boil even from 45 metres. It's a helicopter just scraped through for a minor score. Still giving Glenelg a chance. We've gone almost seven minutes. And that margin is back to 24 points. Glenelg got to move quickly now. And that's the man to do it, Darcy Bailey. Great kick off hands now, Allen. He can have one bounce. He can have a second. He can just let fly to an open goal square. This could bounce through for Matty Allen. It hits the post. And that is the most nonchalant 70-metre kick you'll ever see. <laughs> <laughs> just pulled up in the square and hit the post. Just that bit of dew. The ball mm. just skidded on straight into the post. Back to 23 points. And Ling will bring it in, looking for Boyd and Finn Hurd. Comes off hands, goes out of bounds. We'll have a throw in 60 metres around from Glenelg's goal. They need one in a hurry. Creeping up to eight minutes. It's not, it's not out of the question for the Tigers to get up here. But it'll need something special. Boyd, another tap down. O'Neill, Cootie, Kennelly. Off a step. Curran almost took the mark. Scharenberg did well. Clean pick up. Back to Proud. Proud threw it. The turnover comes again. Sammy Morris. And he might have turned it back over. Curran. Gerloff. To the outer wing over Lovelock's head. It's all Norwood here. Pierce Seymour to Jack Hurd. And the short kick will find Finn Hurd. Just looking better all over the ground at the moment. Norwood, Finn Hurd sends this one long. Just over the back, McCarthy. Good hands. Kitschke just has to bang this one out. In hope. Reynolds was a good gather. Handball eluded Allen. And even some perceived pressure there. Norwood's pressure has been so good tonight. And even when it's not Excellent. right on. Still forcing Glenelg to make mistakes. Yeah, you're spot on, Tim. They've just looked the better side in this second half. Creswell winds up, puts it inside 50. Kitsky again. It's been really solid, hasn't he? Full back. Yeah, as the game's gone on, yep. and he's uh, he's certainly come into the game, taking a few nice grabs back there. He'll bomb it long. Dunn was there. Hosey flew as well. Martini, his kick was smothered by Graham. Graham went back in. Kennelly tackled by Lyons. Umpire says, give it to me, blokes. We'll ball it up. Left half forward for the legs. Boyd engages. Does his own work. Found Kennelly. And a couple of base players lay the tackle. Interesting move from O'Neill. They're almost a somersault. Snook, the arm get over his neck there, it didn't. We have a ball up in exactly the same spot as where we had one 20 seconds earlier. Boyd just gets rid of Dunn there, throws this one on the boot, the double fist. Spoil came, Bain and Low gives a handball to Morris. And that could be the game. Sammy Morris with a right foot snap straight through the middle. That's two for Morris. And that is a nine for the legs, five unanswered. And this margin now blowing out 31 points. Yeah, that's about as good as done, I reckon. We're 10, almost 11 minutes gone in this final term. And it's been 19 scoring shots to 10. Mm. The second half of the red legs, we didn't see this coming in the first half, but they have been outstanding. Twig Rawlings will be... Very, very happy with his men. And all of a sudden, you know, I know it's only it's round two. It sounds silly to say, but they're a team to watch now, Norwood. Absolutely. And, well, maybe some you don't want to put some question marks on Glenelg, but they, they almost look human tonight for the first time <laughs> in a while. Dunn gets the tap. Going out of midair, Cootie. In fact, it was uh, Simpson. And on the bottom of that pack, was Billy Stretch, and the umpire will ball it up. Finn Hurd got it down. Snook took the footy. 
Love lock at half forward under pressure from Lord. And the umpire will come in and do it again. Centre half forward. We'll have a ball up. Finn Hurd goes bang with the fist. Oh, Gerloff met really heavily. Sharonberg was slung as he kicked. He still got good purchase on it. Seymour comes over the top with the fist and very frustrated Lockie Hosey giving away the free to Donnelly. I think it was a clash of heads there, mate. Is uh, very slow to get up. Cole Gerloff and Declan Hamilton. Declan Hamilton obviously had a has, has a harder head than Cole Gerloff. Jeez, it was a tough collision, though, wasn't it? I didn't pick this over the border either, mate. Uh, Essendon have defeated the Bulldogs by 29 points in the AFL. Well, the Essendon edge, it's back. <laughs> it's gone for a week, now it's back. <laughs> we'll stick with the action here. Allen, footy was too hot for him. Stretch, pressure just immense again. Sharonberg, that's gone just as high as it's gone long. Oh, what a grab! Riley Holder. He came from deep and took it at his waist level. That is a sensational grab. And is that what Glenelg need to spark them? As we tick over 13 minutes played final term, just kept his eyes on the footy. Heavy landing, but high degree of difficulty and if ever a player's deserved a goal, it's Riley Holder right now. Player on the mark is between 35 and 40. Holder strikes it pretty well. He likes it. And Glenelg have a pulse. 6-5-41. Margin back to 23 points. In order 9-10-64. We played 13 and a half minutes final term here at Cooper's. Amazingly, Sully, that's the first goal for Glenelg in this second half, and it comes wow. at the 13 and a half minute mark of the final term. Didn't register a goal in the third term. Norwood kick four, and since half time, Norwood kick five, and that is the first goal for the Tigers in the second half. Don't win many games of footy, no. only kicking one goal in a half. They can't do much wrong from here, the Bays, if there'd be a chance, but that just keeps them within distance. 23-point margin. Dunn v. Boyd. Boyd got the tap again and followed up his work. Bell brought to ground in a tackle, or half a tackle from Boyd. Nord end up with the footy somehow. Boyle, Nelligan, snapping around the corner. Declan Hamilton has missed... Just hit a bit of the belly of the ball when it wobbled through for a minor score. And they still keep attacking Nord. Pretty to watch. Straight out of the centre. And don't forget, Paul Bonzer, you've got the 3 2 1 tonight for the oh, Sandford yeah, hey. Now Player of the Year. A few players putting their hands up. Panos. Heads wide and. Just finding room by himself was Isaac Twelfth Tree. Bit of a miscommunication by the base defenders. They had enough players in the area. And the kick was perfect from Panos. And Isaac Twelfth Tree. He's a good size, the 22-year-old. Mm. Yep. 193. Kicked a goal in the third term. And this for the quick reply. Right in front of the Norwood fans on the Cooper's Hill. That one goes across the face. And an easy mark for Proud. Comes out in the Reynolds direction. Just put one hand up at the footy. Ling bustled out of play. And he might have won himself a free kick here. He was dealt with unfairly. Yeah, there's not much in that. It was a really good tackle from Reynolds. And I'm... Although this day and age, the tackles, you can't tackle too hard. Ling kicks into the pocket. Not a great option. Off hands and out of bounds. Almost callow on the second grab, but it was over the line. 65 plays 41. It's a margin of 24 points. 
And there's a bit of push and shove between Martini and Panos. Red Legs probably have this game in their keeping now, unless we see a miracle from the Tigers. Riley Holder robbles it to the wing. Jack Hurd got hands to it, couldn't complete the mark. Lovelock put his body on the line. He was brought down. And a good tackle by Murley. And we'll have another stop. It's centre wing. 17 minutes gone in the final term. No, Ruckman could take that one. Martini throws it on the boot. No, it hasn't travelled the required distance. The umpire will bounce this one or throw this one up. Right in front of the sample now, commentary position. Big Boyd just slaps it forward. Great run from Hamilton. Waits one to O'Neill. Gets the kick forward. This is the dangerous one because it's low. Gathered it beautifully. Just bustled off the footy. Ball spills. Chain of handballs. Cootie to low. Just dropped it. The eyes lit up when they saw the goals. Billy Cootie gets it back. Kitschke wraps him up. And Glenelg just cling on. Hold a front position. Lots of players around this footy. One of them is Boyle. Good smother and ball out of play in the right forward pocket for the legs. And we've said it a few times, Bonds, but one more will just about sink the bays, you'd think. No, you're a sci fi fan. <laughs> in the term Klingon. <laughs> Holder will do the ruck work for the tyres. We've got a blood rule. We've just had two votes. Tom Warhurst come through on the text <laughs> line here. <laughs> Paul Bonzer. He'll be around the mark, Tommy. Don't worry about he that. He will be. He's played a great game. <laughs> the big number 44. He's just standing by himself in the middle of the parade. And we'll have a throw in. Another opportunity for the home team to cheer home a goal. Callow doing the ruck work. Down to Martini. His kick went straight up, straight down. Max Proud. Got a hand on it, kicked it straight to Creswell. Didn't go the required, called to play on. Got a hurried kick away. That's not the required either, is oh. it? Oh, and he's played that one the up. <laughs> oh, the Nord fans hate that. They attack straight away, down the middle of the ground. Here's Harry Boyd. Stag was there with him. Lovelock went to ground. In trouble now, Archie Lovelock has to get the ball out. It does spit out. Murley got it to Ling. And Link spirals it to half forward. Billy Stretch got a bad bounce. Curran, the handball to McCarthy. Lovelock and kicks it down the wing. Good contest. Graham with the fist. Ling front position. Holder not allowing him to go anywhere. Good tough footy. And as we near time on last term, it's all or nothing for the Bays here. Got to take a few risks. Boyd. Took that one. Holder did well to hold him up there and not let him get a position possession. And we'll have another ball up. Just metres from the Sandful now. Commentary position, Tim Saul. Paul Bonds are with you on the call. Friday night footy on Sandful now. Trust you're enjoying the coverage. Wherever you're tuning in from, it's been a quality game of football between two teams who will absolutely be vying for the Premiership this year. The last two Premiers playing off here, of course. Glenelg winning last year in Norwood, breaking North Adelaide Hearts in 2022. Boyd, was he taken high by Martini? Umpire said no. Norwood would be quite happy with another stoppage, Bonds. Certainly would. And uh, Big Harry, just a bit tight in the calf, stretches it out, gives the ball back to the ump. Got the tap straight down to O'Neill. Neil changed his mind, dropped the footy, and that is holding the ball. Riley Holder, probably a little unlucky there, picked it up, and then Big Harry was standing right behind him. Ball came loose, easy decision for the up. And centre wing, Big Harry, just sucking in the big ones, will take some time. The handball back to Pierce Seymour, drives the ball towards Callow. Through the hands of 12th Tree, Max Proud around the body, close to the boundary line, and taken over. Will be a throw in. Dead smack, center wing. 
here at the parade. We've gone 21 and a half minutes. Norwood lead at 65-41. Heat almost out of this one. Boyd. Give him a hit out there. That'll be 45 hit outs. That one to Lyons, though. Lord juggled it. Gerloff sends this one forward. Holder couldn't quite mark. Again, Norwood have the numbers. Nice pick up, Graham. Heard. And there's Harry Boyd. He's everywhere. Beaten to the footy by Curran there. Untidy kick to another man who's been everywhere tonight in Creswell. Heard. Back to Graham. Little untidy. Norwood have numbers, though. And now Ling, I was about to say, uses the footy so well. Gould had to work hard there. Just worked off the footy too easily by Simpson in the end. Just wanted the footy more. Lions. And again, the pressure from the legs. He's just a lead kick. A little untidy by Murley. Intercepted by Proud. He wastes no time. Sends this long in the Hosey direction. He's had a tough night, Hosey. Graham's hands were okay. And it was a hot minute there. Norwood held up well. Another ball up just inside 50. Glenelg attacking. Norwood do uh, get some help from the crowd on this side of the oval. Now so close to the action. Cootie brought down in a strong tackle. Dump tackle, said the umpire. Billy Cootie will win the free <laughs> kick. Got some verbal from Lockie Hosey. Gets a 25 metre. He didn't hesitate, did he, the umpire? He no. heard enough and straight away. Nor that's a naughty word, Lockie. <laughs> and it cost you 25. Billy Cootie. Possession number 24. Short to Lord. Like the look of this kid, too. Yeah. Short and elegant. In the number nine. Kicks towards Callow. Gets it in the fingertips. Just inside 50, he'll go back and have a set shot. Kick one in the third, Jackson Callow. Late in the game, this will take a strong kick from 50. He's definitely got it in him, but we'll need to flush it. One of the more fearsome sights for defenders in the sandfall is Jackson Callow at full stretch. Kick was perfect for him. Allowed him to run and jump. Take a simple mark and put some icing on the cake now at the 24-minute mark of the last term. Jackson Callow runs around, oh. touched on the mark. Inside 50, and this will be a ball up. No opportunity for Johnny Sharambu to get that ball out. 25 out from goal. Norwood, can they get one more for their fans? Been a great turnout tonight. Still plenty of black and gold in the crowd. It's fans staying right to the end. It's what we do in the sand full. Morris wrapped up. And going nowhere. Another ball up. A few players starting to cramp up. It's been a battle. Proud. Stretch. Back to Proud. And there's been so many of these kicks out of defence from Glenelg tonight. Just the kick in hope. Free kick coming back to Hamilton, I think. Might have caught one high. Glenelg just losing a bit of discipline here. You can understand why. Game hasn't gone their way. And Declan Hamilton just, as the Babe Ruth, just points at the goals and says, going long here. Pierce Seymour was signalling to give it to Matty Link. And Declan's going, no, I'm going to have a ping. Yeah, and I think in he the end, to. Goes short. Nor just running the clock down here. Jack Hurd. In the end, just bombs it long. Big pack of players. Good luck marking that. Off hands. Falls to the front. Mitch O'Neill taps it to his own advantage. Steps around the corner. Puts a full stop on the game. And celebrates with the Nord fans. That's his second goal. And look at him come to Mitch O'Neill at his new club. And they get back-to-back -back wins the Red Legs. 
and knock off last year's premiers. Uh, they've been they've been far too good in this second half, Tim. They've been outstanding. It's absolutely sending a warning to the rest of the league. Their attack on the footy's been ferocious. They've given Glenelg no time, no space. They've got extra numbers to the contest. And they were a bit untidy in front of goal early, but they've corrected yes. that in the second half. And well, no, if you've been watching this game, it's probably no surprise to look up at the scoreboard and see it's now a 30-point lead to the legs. Great game from Mitch O'Neill, just giving Paul Bonzer something to think about. 21 disposals, two goals. Well, he was out of the votes. He might be back in there now. <laughs> <laughs> Boyd locks arms with Gould, just thumps that forward. Bailey hacks it forward through the arms of Lovelock. Gerloff overran it. He's going to get another shot at this Cole Gerloff. Handball to Allen. Still the pressure comes. Bailey shrugs one. Shrugs another. Kicks this right to the line. Hold it. Oh, this is going to work, I think. No, it won't. The tackle from Ling is superb. Oh, oh and they paid a high one. Paul, paid a sling tackle. Oh, Paul Bonza shakes his head. I thought it was outstanding to save a certain goal. And well, Lockie Hose is going to get a consolation one here. He snaps. Crowd goes wild. And he puts it... <laughs> <laughs> out of the ground. That's one for the kids to go and chase. The man with the Tigerland <laughs> sign and one flag. They're the only two people that cheered that one through. Consolation, as you said, back to a 24-point margin. Two to Hosey now. But it's just a matter of time now. Final siren imminent. We've got the spare footy back out into the middle while well, the kids go and find that one. And we'll let Paul Bronzer bring you home on Sandville now. Gould into the ruck. Allen, little give to Martini. Left it behind. Morris, clean to Creswell. Siren sounds. And the Red Leagues get the win. They're home by 24 points in a solid second half of footy where they kick six goals to two to claim the points here. Let's uh, have a listen to the song, Tim. If we can, if they're going to play it, here it comes. Enjoy this, Norwood fans. <laughs> <laughs> 